please stand and welcome Johns Hopkins University faculty and leadership. Chief Marshal Stephen Ganji leads the university deans, honorary degree recipients, university trustees, board of trustee chair Lou Forster, and President Ronald Daniels.
opening today's ceremony is Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Stephen Ganji. Welcome. I'm honored to serve as Chief Marshal for the Johns Hopkins University 147th commencement. The ceremony will now come to order. Please stand as University Chaplain Kathy Schnur delivers the invocation and remain standing for the national anthem sung by Caitlin Cherry. Let us pray. Source of truth, we are so very thankful that we have arrived at this day and so proud of the accomplishments of the Johns Hopkins University class of 2023. This moment and the possibilities that lie ahead fill our hearts. Our time together has taught us that the paths we travel are not always predictable and our capacity to adapt to ever-changing environments is stronger than we might have imagined. We have learned to not take for granted the blessings and power of human connection. God of many names, we have spent countless hours in classrooms, labs, and practice rooms, and we have not reached this moment alone. We are thankful for the encouragement and support of our mentors, instructors, coaches and friends, and the many others we have met along the way who have helped to carry us this far. We are especially thankful for the sacrifices, dedication, and wisdom of our parents and families, those who are celebrating this auspicious event here and those who are celebrating from afar. Today, we also remember those whom we hold dear who are no longer with us especially the members of the class of 2023 whose lives ended tragically too soon. Stella Chung, Ahmed El Morsi, Vavra Konyeva, Dia Lee, Timothy Ye, Nafis Zaman, and Gregory George Fuller. We deeply miss them and they will always be carried in our hearts. Generous creator, we are awed by the elegance of the expanse of the cosmos, the splendor of the tiniest particle, and this gorgeous mosaic of humanity. May we remember that while we are urgent for justice, we must be quick to be kind. As we leave this place, may we know and be shalom, salam, shanti, peace. Together we say, Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight screaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming and the
Please be seated. I am Lou Forster, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Graduates, this is a great day. And on behalf of the trustees of the Johns Hopkins University, congratulations on a job well done. In this country, higher education is and always has been advanced through its alumni. We look forward to your loyalty and support for this great university whose future in a very real sense is now in your hands. For our part, we pledge to do everything in our power to make sure Johns Hopkins remains a university of which you will always be proud. During commencement, our attention is directed on you, the graduates. But I want to take a moment to turn to the mothers and fathers, grandparents, siblings who have helped you get to today and hear from them. Every single moment. Proud mom. Congratulations. Do things with passion, with love, and with dedication. The world has no idea of the brilliance and tenacity that is being unleashed today. There are great things to come in the future. Be bold, be brave, be happy out there. Congratulations, Congratulations, class of 2023! Yay! 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 Yay!
their Hopkins possible as well. We can't wait to hear about your future accomplishments and all that you do to solve problems, serve your communities, and write your stories. Enjoy this wonderful celebration. And remember, though you may be leaving the proverbial nest that is Johns Hopkins, you will remain forever a Blue Jay. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you, Marianne. President Ronald J. Daniels, the university's 14th president, will now address the candidates for degrees. President Daniels. Good morning to our alumni and trustees, to our faculty and staff, to all our parents, family members, and friends, to our soon-to-be-revealed distinguished speaker, and most especially to our graduates. Welcome under perfect skies and with bursting hearts to the 147th Johns Hopkins University commencement for the great, great class of 2023. <laughs> to our graduates, congratulations. I suspect that there has never been a graduating class that didn't feel that getting to this moment wasn't a monumental achievement. This place is, dare I say, demanding. We are a different kind of party school. <laughs> but as much as this day is a moment of achievement, there is no denying that your class has confronted and surmounted a set of challenges that truly sets you apart. Despite COVID, despite forced exile, despite a host of restrictions and regulations on your return, you did it. You excelled in so many different endeavors and succeeded in crafting a full and rich Hopkins education. And in turn, and in turn, the university recognized your trials and tribulations by depriving you of sterling brunch, making you wait three full hours for Meek Mill to show up at Spring Fair. I did that. And then abruptly changed the name of the FFC for no good or apparent reason. This is the applause line for your university central administration. Too soon. In thinking about your commanding record of achievement, we must first start with your many individual successes. The course is completed, the exams written, the prizes received, and soon, very soon, the degrees earned. But today, today, is also a time to recognize your collective achievements, the things you did together, the performances of musicals and plays, the weekly tutoring sessions of Baltimore City school children outside Levering, the undefeated season of our women's soccer team, and your class's support for the owners of the Jordanian Halal food truck when they needed it the most. So, it's this latter set of achievements, the product of shared endeavor, that I want to touch on with you today. Now, these moments of collective achievement can arise in a number of different ways. Sometimes they occur when one solitary individual whose vision, eloquence, and courage will inspire others, even whole nations, to action. Hold that thought. At other times, however, collective action happens more spontaneously, provoked not by a single magnetic leader, but by a cascade of interconnected decisions made quietly, often without inducement or prospect of recognition, by people simply doing the right thing at the right moment. And let me share a story that illustrates this point. 
and I haven't told it before. And it starts in August 2021 in Afghanistan during the withdrawal of American troops from the country after a long and difficult war. And as you'll recall, at that time, every day brought new harrowing images of school bombings, public executions, and abandoned posts as the Taliban, sensing a long-awaited pathway to power, began aggressively seizing province after province. And then Kabul fell. The only state still under US control was the airport, which was being used to rapidly evacuate American citizens, interpreters, and other vulnerable individuals. And with the Taliban's ascendance came the prospect of retribution. And there was a fear of the Taliban targeting those, even Afghan nationals, connected in any way to a foreign entity. And that included Afghans who had worked for our university. You see, for almost two decades, Hopkins operated public health programs in Afghanistan. Suddenly, the Afghan people who had worked with colleagues across Hopkins to support public health education, infant immunization, and prenatal care were confronted with the grim and very real prospect of being tortured or, in fact, executed. In early August 2021, the email started to trickle in from our colleagues requesting our aid. After the Taliban captured Kabul, the trickle became a flood. Now, we felt a strong moral obligation to help, but we weren't sure precisely how. We are a university. Our forte is fighting disease, solving complex equations, and interpreting texts, not extracting foreign nationals from a collapsing state. The risks were high, and the odds of success were low. Kabul was in pandemonium, the airport was a fortress, and in the eyes of many here in the United States and abroad, the 88 people we were trying to help were low-priority evacuees. We called everyone we knew for help and advice. We sought to enlist their support by making the plight of these 88 people more concrete, more human. We said that their ages ranged from five months to 77 years, that they were mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, and grandparents, that they were doctors, researchers, and security guards, that even in the midst of chaos, this group of our former employees, family members, and others had shown remarkable resolve by organizing themselves and agreeing to travel together in the extraordinary but increasingly elusive hope of securing safe passage. One call I remember very, very vividly from that time was to an old friend, at the time a senior US government official. After I detailed the situation, he said tersely and unequivocally that there was no way, no way that these people would be leaving Kabul. The country is unraveling, and there's simply the capacity. There isn't simply the capacity to get them out. Now, our team was discouraged, but undaunted. At every juncture, every juncture, the response from anyone who knew the plight of these 88 was clear. If our former colleagues and their families were willing to risk their lives to leave Afghanistan, then we had to do our part to get them out. And what then unfolded was a complex series of individual undertakings that coalesced into something really magnificent, a single unified mission to save those 88 people. The chair of the Bloomberg School's Department of International Health will, with full support of the dean, sent numerous emails organizing the effort and pleading for support. Our lawyers preceded refugee applications and helped plan the evacuation for going sleep for days and days without making a single mistake. Other Hopkins colleagues working in maternal and child health secured seats for all 88 people on several of the last flights out of Afghanistan. And the Honorable Christine Fox, 
who is sitting on the stage today as an honorary degree recipient, drew on her vast military experience to lend advice and counsel, and ultimately facilitated a direct link to US military personnel in Kabul. And of course, our trustees did not hesitate to endorse and fund these efforts. Amazingly, at every turn, more people of common purpose in a far-flung network stepped in without any need for cajoling or persuasion. The ex-Marine with the two-man Afghan team on the ground in Kabul secured a tour bus for all 88 people and guided it through the streets for three agonizing days. The military personnel in and out of uniform, including JHU alumni who help make crucial connections at critical moments. And of course, the 88 people who do not leave that bus in the sweltering heat for 68 hours as their food, water, and baby formula and gas run, ran terrifyingly low. 88 people whose desperation grew as the prospect of safe passage seemed ever more remote and the fear of Taliban reprisals ever nearer. At any moment, they reasonably could have given up, but they never did. I'm still in awe of their fortitude. It was these people who on August 28th finally got word that their bus, their bus against the odds, would be permitted to move into the airport compound. For two excruciating hours, the bus crawled through the heavily fortified site, which two days prior had been the site of a suicide bombing that killed nearly 180 people, including 13 US service members. First, the bus moved through the Taliban checkpoint, then the NATO checkpoint, then the US inspection, but they had finally made it. Our group was among the very last to be evacuated from a collapsing Afghanistan. That night, a Hopkins colleague sent a WhatsApp message to the entire far-flung band that had been helping and watching, waiting and hoping for good news from Kabul. And the message said simply, this was an across-the-globe effort of humanity. We witnessed the best of people in the worst of situations. Most of the people responsible for the safe passage of the 88 were largely unknown to one another. Yet for several days, they coalesced into a harmonious entity that was devoted to one singular goal, to save the 88 lives. And when it was over, it was over. For reasons of security, there was no group picture, no press release, no Instagram post. Everyone returned to their jobs and lives. Although I can't tell you the names or show you the faces of the people who escaped, I assure you they are now in the US and on the track to becoming permanent residents. If you ask me right now, whose contribution, whose contribution was most important? Who are the ones that really made it happen? My honest answer would be, I don't know. Truly, every text sent, every document filed, every number called, every dollar raised, every risk taken and every reassuring word uttered was essential to the success of this endeavor. So I share this story today because it illustrates a powerful and simple point. As Hopkins graduates, your lives will be full of opportunities to undertake individual acts of consequence. And as much as we hope, we count on you seizing those moments to the fullest, please, please don't lose sight of the opportunities also to participate in collective endeavors in which your role no matter how seemingly small or inconsequential, could well be just as important as were the many individual contributions 
made in that fateful August of 2021. Graduates, we know when that moment comes, you will meet it. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you, President Daniels. At each, each year at commencement, the university recognizes extraordinary contributions with honorary doctorates. I now have the great privilege of introducing you to the individuals who will, in just a moment, be recognized for peerless accomplishments in their field, the distinguished honorary degree recipients. Johns Hopkins is proud to honor seven trailblazing leaders making a lasting impact on society and the world. Philanthropist Andreas Dracopoulos. He's dedicated his life to enriching the lives of others. Ladies and gentlemen, Andreas Dracopoulos. He's the co-president of the Stavros Nyakos Foundation, one of the world's most prestigious philanthropic organizations. The foundation sponsors projects in more than 130 countries and has forged an enduring partnership with Johns Hopkins to tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges, including the strengthening of democracy. To the graduating class of 2023, I hope you choose your journey wisely. Don't be afraid of success. Give it all you have. Be good, be kind, and be human. Mathematician and military analyst, Christine Fox. I've spent a lifetime studying military operations. A trailblazing expert on national safety and security. The acting Deputy Defense Secretary Christine Fox assumed her new duties today. Christine Fox spent her career shattering barriers. Mrs. Fox is the highest ranking woman ever to serve in the Defense Department. It's all yours, Charlie. Thank you. Her early career as a defense analyst inspired this lead character. The encounter was a victory. In the 80s blockbuster, Top Gun. Congratulations, graduates. As you go forward, think about what you love to do. If you love it, if you're good at it, go for it, because you can realize your dreams. Businessman and civil rights advocate, John Guess. He has helped empower black students at Johns Hopkins for more than 50 years. Today we are chatting with John Guest. In the late 60s, he led protests that resulted in the founding of the Black Student Union at Johns Hopkins University. John Guest was the first ever black president of the Hopkins Student Council. I like the fact that... Today he heads the Houston Museum of African American Culture while serving as a passionate advocate for the arts, education, and community. To the class of 2023, Remember, whatever stage you end up on, no matter how big or how small, do good. And know that the good that you're doing will be infused with the excellence that you've learned at Johns Hopkins. And for the people of color, the graduates of color in the class of 2023, know that you are still your parents' great dream. Psychologist and researcher, Kay Redfield Jamison. Kay Redfield Jamison is considered a leading expert on mood disorders. Kay Jamison helped expand the world's understanding of mental illness through her years of research at Johns Hopkins Medicine and her personal story. She has conducted research and has lived with bipolar disorder. When I was 17 years old and a senior in high school, I became psychotic for the first time. It was terrifying. I had no idea what, what it was all about. By publicly sharing her own struggles, she offers a one-of-a-kind perspective that benefits patients and families across the globe. Congratulations to all of you as you go out on your journey. I would encourage you to take advantage of your restlessness and your discontents uh, as well as your joys and to assume that efficient thinking is not always the best thinking. So mull, enjoy yourself, enjoy your thinking, and don't fit too much into the mold. Pioneering cancer researcher, Tack Mack. He's been called a rock star cancer fighter and a genome giant. His peers say he's brilliant, a super scientist. In 1984, Dr. Mack unraveled one of the toughest problems in immunology. Tack Mack's groundbreaking discovery of the T-cell receptor helped reshape the fight against cancer and pave the way for life-saving new treatments and therapies. He's written more than a thousand academic papers and trained more than 150 scientists, now performing their own life-saving research worldwide. Never be arrogant about your field of study or your part in it. Collaborate with those who can help. As an African proverb says, 
If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Legal scholar and economist Michael Trebilko. He's an internationally distinguished scholar who works at the intersection of law and economics. I have spent much of my professional career researching, writing, and teaching about the policy reform process. Michael Trebilko founded the esteemed Law and Economics Program at the University of Toronto, establishing it as a global leader in interdisciplinary exploration. From his farm in Ontario, he continues to write, mentor, and teach, and is credited with launching the careers of dozens of other law professors in Canada and abroad. As a law and economics scholar, you would expect me to emphasize the importance of cost-benefit analysis, but I do want to emphasize uh, the element of serendipity. Be alert, open-minded, and don't be trapped by linear thinking. Journalist and broadcast pioneer Judy Woodruff. Viewers know Judy Woodruff best from her on-air work. Hello, I'm Judy Woodruff. Judy Woodruff, NBC News, The White House. We're here to report. She's reported on some of the most important global events of the past 50 years. But Mr. President, with all due respect, what does it accomplish? She's an outspoken advocate for women and minority representation in the media and for people with disabilities. The only advice I have for you graduates is to set your fears aside. Figure out what your greatest talents are and apply them in a way that does the most good, not just for you and your family, but for all of us. We need each one of you to stand up for what is right and true. We say thank you for helping make the world a better place. Candidates for honorary degree Doctor of Humane Letters will now be called forward. Alex Triantis, the Dean of the Cary Business School, will present the first candidate, Andreas Dracopoulos. Ed Schlesinger, the, the Benjamin Rome Dean of the GC, GWC Whiting School of Engineering, will present Christine Fox. Chris Chalenza, the James Knapp Dean for, of the Sandville Krieger School of Arts and Sciences, will present John Guess. Ellen McKenzie, the Dean of the Bloomberg School of Public Health, will present Kay Jamison. Ted DeWeese, Interim Dean of the School of Medicine, will present the next candidate for the degree, Tak Mack. Jim Steinberg, Dean of the Paul Nitze School of International Studies, will present Judy Woodruff. And President Ron Daniels will present the final candidate for the degree, Doctor of Humane Letters. Will, uh, all uh, please come forward. Andreas Dracopoulos, Christine Fox, John Guess, Kay Jamison, Tak Mack, Judy Woodruff, and Michael Trebilko, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Johns Hopkins University, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters together with all the rights, privileges, honors pertaining thereto, and we present you with a diploma indicating this honor has been conferred, and we will vest you with the ensign of the degree.
They can be seated. And where's Sophie? Sophie, you're up. Congratulations again to the Class of 2023 Honorary Degree Recipients. Good morning students, friends, family, faculty, staff, and trustees. I am Sophie Liu, President of the Class of 2023. Class of 2023, we made it. We started out with many of the traditional Blue Jay firsts, like the first time we stepped foot on the beach or the first time we attended a 9 a.m. lecture. It's just that our list of college firsts suddenly became last during the spring of our freshman year with the pandemic. In the face of this disruption, it would have been easy to sit idle and focus only on these last, but we did not. Our unique experience of last created a perfect storm for further strengthening our already strong Blue Jay community. That time forced us to go through a genuine process of transformation, and from that, we made changes. And with those changes came new firsts. Some individual, such as changing a major or career path entirely, and some collective, like the new tradition of a time capsule. One of the items that will be put into the time capsule is an original JHU newsletter article from spring of 2020, written about students moving out of their dorm rooms and being virtual through at least April 12th, 2020. We all bonded over scrambling to move out of our dorms. The pandemic challenged the resiliency of our relationships, but in typical Blue Jay fashion, we took it in stride and found ways to virtually connect. And now, here we are. Put simply, we, the class of 2023 are literally a living time capsule of college before, during, and after the height of COVID, where the last things that we put in there will be the first things that people see in the future. So even while today marks the last time we will be together as a class, I want you to remember that it will be only one of the many bookends that frame the chapters, books, and volumes of our lives. Now, fellow Blue Jays, make us proud. Thank you. <laughs> Anne Applebaum, author, Journalist, School of Advanced Ina International Studies, Senior Fellow of International Affairs, and Senior Fellow at the SNF Agora Institute, and mother of Tad Sigorski, a member of the Class of 2023, will now introduce our commencement speaker. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, as a representative of both Johns Hopkins University faculty and Johns Hopkins parents, I am proud to introduce the 2023 commencement speaker. In our time, 
At this particular historical moment, no one better represents the qualities that this university shares. Bravery, optimism, and faith in open societies and democratic values. Just hours ago, Russian forces began their attack. Ukraine is now a nation at war. From the Ukrainian capital, gunfire and explosions. Bomb after bomb sailing through the sky. Thousands of Ukrainians are fleeing their country. What they are facing is really a matter of life and death. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he's staying in Kyiv as long as necessary to win what he called a patriotic war. Good morning to all Ukrainians. I'm still here. He displays a mix of courage, humor, and grace under pressure that's galvanized support at home and around the world. His defiant vows to stay and fight have lifted a nation fighting for its freedom. Volodymyr, I've always thought of you as a champion for democracy. And now democracies around the world are lucky to have you as our champion. We could not be prouder that he is joining us today from Ukraine, where he is leading the struggle to keep his country free and Europe safe. Welcome President Zelensky to Johns Hopkins. Thank you, Mrs. Applebaum, for such a generous and yet brief introduction. Uh, Mr. President Daniels, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Trustees Foster, dear students, faculty, parents, and guests of the university on this day. Um, first of all, graduates of the class 2023, congratulations on reaching this honorable milestone graduation day at one of the world's greatest universities. And if some of you are a little bit worried about whether my speech may delay your long-awaited graduation moment, I want to assure you that I will also try to be brief, perhaps not as brief as Mrs. Applebaum was at the beginning, but anyway, I will not be too long. The time is the essence and it is the essence that I would like to talk about today. One of the most common truisms on us is the advice to value or at least not waste time. Why has it become so widespread? Every person eventually realizes that time is the most valuable resource on the planet, not oil or uranium, not lithium or anything else, but time, time. The very flow of time convinces us of this. Some people realize this sooner and these are the lucky ones. Others realize it too late when they lose someone or something. People cannot avoid it. This is just a matter of time. Now you can look back at the time you have spent here at the university studying. Did you get everything you needed from it? You have even more than time ahead of you, a whole lifetime. These are the careers you will build. This is your parents' pride, which they have every right to if they raised the children who graduate from Johns Hopkins. These are your families who I wish you this will bring you love. These are your children and grandchildren who will 
inherit a piece of your soul? Will you be able not to waste this time of your life? This topic seems trivial, but these are very, very difficult questions for every person. How you answer them is how you live. And while it is still possible to find new deposits of oil or lithium, and if in the future humanity can start mining resources in space, it is still purely science fiction to live longer than has been given. But why am I talking about this now? Recently, I was on the front line again in one of the most fiercely fought areas of the front line against the Russian occupiers. I went to personally award the best fighters and to congratulate our Marines on the day of Marines of Ukraine. And you know, the front in Ukraine consists of very, very different people who are fighting for freedom and independence. These are people of all ages. And among them are exactly the same folks as you are now. Some of them have already passed their graduation ceremony. Others are only dreaming about it. They and you have similar hopes for life, similar expectations from life. But there is fundamental difference that comes down to the question of time. The time of your life is under your control. The time of life of our folks on the front line, the time of life of all Ukrainians who are forced to live through this terrible Russian aggression, unfortunately, is subject to many factors that are not all in their control. Where will the next Russian missile or another Iranian killer drone hit? which Russia is so fond of launching at Ukraine? Will our air defense systems be able to save all the lives at risk? What moment in the battle can be the most risky and which one could be decisive? And how long will this war last? We are trying. We are trying to get a grip on the time of our lives, what is happening to us. And by the way, if anyone here is going to become a politician, remember that this is exactly what your job will be to master time, to make the time of your people and country's life under the control of your people and country under any circumstances so that your people receive an answer to any question about what the time of their life will be like. There may be calm times when it is a simple task for politicians. There may be very, very restless politicians who complicate seemingly simple tasks so that they create real crisis. There may be different things. And unfortunately, there may still be wars. Of course, I do not wish any anyone to feel like they are in my shoes and it's impossible to give a manual on how to go through life so as not to waste its time however one piece of advice always works you have to know exactly why you need today and how you want your tomorrows to look like you have to know this when you are a politician and have to achieve a certain goal for your country you have to know this when you are a soldier and you have to defend your position so that the whole country is protected. You have to know this when you just have to go through life. Sometimes, however, when you are young and when you are a student, you still need to waste some time. What is life without it? But only sometimes and when no one else depends on you. I'm proud that Ukraine is not losing a single day in its defense against Russian terror. Every day we do everything, everything to become stronger, to give more protection to people, to save more lives. The United States has also not lost a single day in helping Ukraine. 
repel the Russian aggression. President Biden, a strong bipartisan coalition in Congress, and most of all, the American people have liked the generations before them rising to this occasion and are leading the free world to secure freedom in Europe. We Ukrainians believe a free and secure Ukraine is the final step in the struggle to liberate Europe from the evil by from the evil of tyrannies. This struggle that brought your great grandparent to the shores of northern France some 80 years ago. And I, I have no doubt you will all soon become great doctors, lawyers, engineers, and titans of new technologies and new businesses. Also, I'm certain a few among you will hit the call to serve and become members of Congress, Cabinet, Secretaries, and yes, yes, maybe President one day. Of course, after President Biden, of course. And please, somebody of you, please, we don't need surprises. And I'm certain you, as your forefathers, will continue to lead the free world. And this century will be our century, a century where freedom, innovation, and democratic values reign, a century where tyrannies that repress their own and seek to enslave their neighbors will vanish from us once and for all. But all of our tomorrows and the tomorrows of our children and grandchildren depends on each of our todays on each of our todays. Thank you, Johns Hopkins, for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you, America, for your support. Slava Ukraine. Thank you. President Zelensky, my name is Ron Daniels, and it is my great privilege, but especially today, at this moment, in our time, in your time, to be president of this university and to be able to confer upon you an honorary degree, a doctor of humane letters. And if you would indulge us a bit longer, and you should know, President Zelensky, that there's 10,000 people here, all of whom were on their feet applauding you in recognition of, of course, that wonderful and stirring speech, but also for what you have done in your leadership of your country, and indeed, of the values and the ideals of the free world. So. And there it is again. I'd like to read your citation. And President Zelensky, this is the diploma, and this is the citation in part. President Zelensky, your vision, tenacity, and unwavering belief in the power of democracy and freedom have been a constant source of inspiration to the people of Ukraine and to millions and millions of others around the world who support your cause and the ideals for which you stand. For your extraordinary courage and leadership in the defense of democratic principles and in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles, President Zelensky, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Johns Hopkins University, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters 
together with all the honors, rights, and privileges appertaining thereto. And while we are not able to do so in person today, we look forward with great anticipation and confidence to the time that we will present you with this diploma indicating the honor that has been conferred and vest you with the ensign of the degree. Thank you, Godspeed, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great honor. Thank you so much. Thank you, President Zelensky and President Daniels. Now let us hear from our academic deans about their schools and graduates. Greetings and congratulations. Once again, our students have demonstrated their commitment and extraordinary talent. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you and see your progress inside and outside the classroom. We can't wait to see what you accomplish next. One of my great joys as Dean of the Peabody Institute is to walk through the halls on our campus and hear the incredible art, the music, and the dance that emanates from our students. It is with great pride that I watch our students today walk across this stage and be recognized for their extraordinary achievements. Congratulations to the Johns Hopkins School of Nursing graduates. You're graduating from the number one school of nursing. I'm so excited to see you thrive. You'll go out and change the world and every place you work. Congratulations. I am so proud of all of you. You are smart, curious, restless, and dedicated to helping all those in need. I can't wait to see how you change the world. Congratulations. Throughout your time at SICE, you've demonstrated resilience, perseverance, and good spirit. Your unwavering commitment to our community, academic tenacity, and exceptional drive are testaments what makes SICE so special. Over the past four years, you've confronted many challenges, but from the lecture hall to the exam room, to nights and days on the hospital floor, you've excelled. You each now have the opportunity to change and save lives. Congratulations on your remarkable achievement. The best is yet to come. You have armed yourself with a wealth of knowledge, problem-solving skills, and grand ideas. I'm so impressed by all you've accomplished from the design projects you've made and startups you've launched to the research you've published. You already have made a difference in this world and I can't wait to see what you'll do next. They hail from diverse fields, yet they share a few things in common. A quest to uncover new knowledge, a deep love of learning, and a dedication to their craft. They are creative, curious, and enthusiastic. And above all, they are accomplished scholars. Congratulations, graduates. You are the very leaders our world needs and awaits. I am certain you will match the gifts that you have, the passion and purpose that you already possess, to the good that you can do. I wish each one of you great things wherever you go. It is my privilege to present the doctoral candidates on behalf of the deans for their respective schools for the conferral of their degrees from the School of Education for their degrees of Doctorate of Education and Doctor of Philosophy, from the Peabody Conservatory for their degree of Doctor of Musical Arts, from the School of Nursing for their degrees of Doctor of Nursing Practice and Doctor of Philosophy, from the Bloomberg School of Public Health for their degrees of Doctor of Public Health, Doctor of Philosophy, and Doctor of Science, from the Paul Nitze School of Advanced International Studies for their degree of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of International Affairs, from the School of Medicine for their degrees of Doctor of Medicine and Doctor of Philosophy, from the GWC Whiting School of Engineering for their degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Engineering, and from the Zanville Krieger School of Arts and Sciences for their degree of Doctor of Philosophy. President Daniels, I'm pleased to present to you the candidates whose names are listed in the program and who have been certified by the faculty of the Johns Hopkins University for their degrees. Thank you, 
and now by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Johns Hopkins University, I confer upon each and every one of you and candidates unable to be present the doctoral degrees for which you have been certified by the faculties together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Warmest, warmest congratulations. Will the recipients of the degrees just conferred please come forward when your name is called. Melissa Ann Bickford. We got it? <laughs> Just one second. You'll see here with Melissa Bickford, who is, of course, uh, receiving her doctorate uh, today from the Faculty of Education. Um, and she is our first, uh, first recipient out of many people who are going to walk this stage today. But at this moment, while we're all excited about Melissa, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of David Unopsky, um, who was the very last of our bachelor's candidates. And David, where are you? I, where are you? Stand up. Wave to me. There you are. There's David. So I would only ask that while we're all here for Melissa, we got to be here for David as well. Stick around for David. The guy's been living with a surname at the bottom of the alphabet. We got to do it for him today. Let's roll. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Dr. Anzer Nichelle Canty Woodward. Marvin Dwight Carr, Jr. Cindy Chin. Mary Beth Kogan. Nandini Menon. Ying Ma. Elizabeth Benton Mihopoulos. Millie Shi, Denise Rochelle Osborne, Tristan Arthur Lug Latchford, Young Lil, Margarita Borisovna Lukashkina, Ryan James Riley. Vanessa Allen Sub Abacan. Aaron Xavier Anderson. Erica Lynn Bristol. Nico Cacho Buon Lagazo. Carmen Chung. Arbenita Dervisholi, Kim Di Maria, Carlos Gutierrez, Emerald Lynette Rivers Jenkins, Heather Lynn Joachim, Yun Mi Kim. Darby Yun Jiang Ko, Taffany Huang, Suwani Tamara Lopez, Jessica Raylene Millen, Charcy Ann Neely. Nicole Reederer, 
Marie Therese Cruz Sarmiento, Anal Shah, Megan J. Shackleton, Bernadette Emily Walters, Nathalie Alice Yota, Minu Chantyal, Chintan Patel, Onome Titi Okurume, Mang Cher Lee. Angela Paredes. Kiefer On. Negin S. Atri. Brian Lynn Walker. Jeremy Ramirez. Arja Twe. Al-Johara Yaqub Yusuf Al-Jafari Daisy Dai Nicholas Eric Henlin Hong Lee Fan Eduardo Gonzalez, Wendy Elizabeth Grant McCauley, Elizabeth Maria Zadvitska Fay, Malgorzata Joanna Latawa, Giancarlo Molina Castro. Simon Peter Orozco. Alexis Noeli Pena. Shantanu Bailor. Daniel Chu. Ji Hao Bai. Alisha Chachor Tsong Gao Chi Huang Tushar Joyce Yuan Ye Ma Harnish Mukesh Naya Ian McLean, Jonah Sengupta, Yashil Sukordi, Zhuo Long Yu, Le Zhang, Hong Chu, Marika Francesca Antonucci. Sam Ehrlich Backer Michael Arthur Chapin Himani Anand Galagali Tyler Lane Clark Winters Catherine Jane Isaac Caitlin Elizabeth Jackson Ling Yuan Ji Ji Wan Li Atseda Retta McConan Morgan E. Moroni Kiryaki Neofitu Grusha Sai Prasad Himanshu Verma 
Hong Li Zhang, Hang Ru Zhu, for the Bachelor of Fine Arts of Dance, Alexandra Elena Carioti, Kayla Laufer. Noelia Reichard Montiel, Noah Allen Price. Lourdes Del Mar Santiago. Emma Catherine Welter. For the Bachelor of Music. China Kalia Beals. Justin Sheng Chao. Austin Philippe Cohen, Caroline Grace Colvin, Cassandra Hermione Durgan, Jasmine Marie Galante, Aaron Gao, Tig Wu Kim, Jacob Z Kruzanski, Matthew T Lucas. Nico Musaraka, Mackenzie Payne, Alfonso Sanchez Herrera Lasso, Elisa Lucia Sukula, Anson Yuen Chak Tong, Eli Samuel Wasserman, Brandon K Wong. Lara and Nascimento Villanueva. For the Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics and Statistics, Oliver Fry Wolf, Ian Bao Ann Augsburger, Mauricio Cervantes, Samantha Dupree Chabot. Zihong Chan, Ryuen Chang, Eric Deng, Matthew C. Dubois, Jia Yi Gao, Jefan Gao, Meredith Gao, Jia Chen Hong. Jingyu Huang, Brennan Christopher Hughes, Drew T. Hadamio, Alvin Kim, Philip Jin Young Kim, Jack Andrew Crew, Shu Yua Stella Lee, Xin Yan Liu, Yi Chi Liu. Brent Claude Lauren, Bing Lu, Wen Xian Lu, Saketh Manda, Cameron Avery Marcus, Omo Bolade A Odedoye, Merrick Aloha Takagi Ohata. Caitlin Nicole Pinair, Ronald Nathaniel Prescott, Ian Chiang, Don B. Reed, Lucas David Rosendahl, David Hajun Ryu. Jian Song, Jonathan T. Spangler Sakata, Victor Oxholm Tawanzi, William R. Chen, Bryce David Thalheimer, Oliver Antonio Valera, 
Anna Grace Wormack, Axel Wallman, Lai Shu, Amy Yu, Ji Yu Zhang, Chu Shi Zhao, Jeremy Zhang Yuan Zhou, Lily Zhu, Kenneth Tetsu, Owen Binyaki, All right, in, in such enthusiasm, uh, we uh, overlooked having uh, Benjamin Rome Dean, uh, sorry, Benjamin T. Rome Dean Ed Schlesinger to present the bachelor's candidates for the Whiting School of Engineering. It's Dean not Schlesinger. too late. It's not <laughs> too late. Okay. We make this look seamless. Thank you. President Daniels, the advances we've seen in recent months in the realm of artificial intelligence have both captured the imagination and given us pause as we consider the impact of technology on society and the human condition. And yet, like all technologies, artificial intelligence is the product of human intelligence. It is our creation and our tool. And like all tools, it may enhance and advance the human condition, elevate the human spirit, or be misused as a tool of division, repression, and harm. The students graduating from the Whiting School of Engineering are committed to bringing their talents, knowledge, and skills to the world to make it a better place. Truly, they bring their natural intelligence their understanding of technology, their ethics, their curiosity, and not only the desire to improve the world, but the ability to do so. So, President Daniels, it is with great pride and pleasure that I present to you these outstanding candidates who have been certified by the faculty of the GWC Whiting School of Engineering for their degrees of Bachelor of Science in an Engineering Discipline and Bachelor of Arts in an Engineering Discipline. Well, now it's official. So, we shook hands, they walked the stage, they got their diploma, and now we do the magic words to make this all complete by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Johns Hopkins University. I confer upon each and every one of you and candidates unable to be present the degrees of Bachelor of Science in an Engineering Discipline and the Bachelor of Arts in an Engineering Discipline from the GWC Whiting School of Engineering for which you have been certified by the faculty together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Warmest congratulations. You don't need to be here. <laughs> all right. He says now, sure. Yeah. He says sure. So, uh, Dean Chris Chalenza will present the bachelor candidates Still on oh, still on engineering. I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> let's relish. So let's relish we this ask the moment. recipients of the degrees just conferred to please come forward when your name is called. We're back to it. Okay. Yes. For the Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Anya Agarwal, Gota Ihara, Charles Douglas Almany, Angie Alvarado, 
Wali Khaled Atia. Aiden Og. Satya Isabel Balaga. Sneha Deepak Bethesia. Naranjan Behera. Sarah Payne Bortel. Betul Chelikar. Catherine Sarasso. Chun Hei Ryan Chan. Jeffrey Fonzi Chen. Charlotte Jean Chang. Singing Chu. Samaris Annette Clausel. Megan S. Concannon. Sean Sebastian Darcy. Renee Furman Shake de Brabander. Joshua Michael de Beer. Benjamin George Dubner. Mariana Valeria Elia. Eli Jacob Foster. Leela Sophie Gowan. Christian Jose Waraka. Jingwen Guo. Nehali Gupta. Olivia Ainsley Hanselman. Todd Robert Hartman. Quinn Cameron Hout. Karen He. Sean Lou Healy. Jacob Michael Hines. Jocelyn Chu. Fei Young Huang. Su Jay Japali. Carson Curtis James. Sithni Minara Jayasindra. Rhea Ja. Aditi Jitendra. Sneha R. Kamada. Kyle Tyler Campta. Brian Aaron Kaplan. Trisha Karani. Aditya J. Kandeshi. Clara Maria Kakendafa. Ashley Ying Koenig. Catherine Elizabeth Kovrishkin. Nayeli Grace Krantz. Sahana Prem Kumar. Matthew Jacob Kunkler. Seo Young Kwan. Miles Tehai Lee. Daniel Scouten Lewis. Fong Chia Lee. Rachel Shihua Lee. Ri Xiang Lee. Chien Yun Lin. Noah Lu. Xing Jian Lu. Angela Mack. Crystal Naomi Martinez. Rebecca Irene Mosier. Rashima Mukherjee. Renee Florencia Narenberg. 
Agane Yurame Anove. Alessandra Gabriella Ocilia Rincones. Brian Park. Mir M. Patel. Mohan Rao Padada. David Poo. Celia Maria Quintana. Nathaniel Christopher Riemann. Ana Rosu. Alexander Luis Rovalino. Mary Catherine Sands. Kate Shinyi Saperstein. Aryaman Anand Shodan. Arshdeep Singh. Mason Jia Ying Song. Alexandra Chefs. Arushi Tandem. Aiden Wong Turkai. Matthew Daniel Virgil. Isha Verma. Alan Xiao Wong. Ching Yuan Wong. Emma Catherine Whitehead. Jonathan Hung Yi Wu. Run Xin Wu. Hannah Matsuko Yamagata. Rebecca Ann Yin. Cindy Zhang. Yu Chi Zhang. Anson Y. Joe. Justin T. Joe. Lucas M. Zhao. Stanley Zhu. William Jiashi Zhu. Asimina Zoitu. Taj Nazar El Khalili. Albert Yosang Lee. Vivian Lee. Jun Sung Park. Rahul Swaminathan. Ryan Zhao. For the Bachelor of Science in Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. Adarin Sola Abiodun Adeleka. Shahed A. Ashkenani. Nithya M. Badrinath. Benjamin Allen Biggs. Gabriel Jesus Blanco. Stephanie Jean Brown. Chanel De Tao. Maureen Chan. Sid Arnav Chowdhury. Nathaniel J. Chavez. Kieran M. Collins. Lauren Riley Conway. Alexander Correa. Xiao Jing Dong. Alexis Diaz. Isaac Eli Diaz. George Rafael Artemios Dulles. Ashlyn Jane Ferris. Michael George Fujita. Fisher Gavin Gandell. 
Ayush Gandhi, Angel Emilio Garcia Mejia, Mason Lane Garris, Kayla T. Gezi, Mia Patricia Gron, Helena Witham Hall Thompson, Sage Brooklyn Mackenzie Hester, Franklin Shu, Yen Shang Hu, Jian Huang, Sayin Judy Zhang, Nicole Jimenez, Annika Nanami Jones. Callie Wilson Jones, Sarah Victoria Connor, Oluwafulahanmi Ayobami Koliosha, Emily Noel Cole, Claire M. Liddy, Kristen Siao Lu, Anthony Magala, Yen Yan Mo. Michelle M. Mokaya, Patricia Ahuna Nwoga, Ashwin Narayan Pasupathi, Devin Parthiv Patel, Osiris Peralta, Anakate Pratapnani, Shubangi Raghavan, Eric Wilson Reyes, Javier Antonio Romanelli, Ashley Shea, Elena Teresa Skarupski, Roy Sun, Louis Carter Swaby, Ashley Tang, Ivana W. Tang, Oliver Yang Tang. Stephanie J. Tang, Carlos Daniel Tenrero Braski, Kinsey May Thorpe, Andrew Chow Tran, Grant Hall Walnoa, Connor Enghua Wong, Margaret F. Wong, Yulian Wan. Zuryu Wong, Elon Judah Washer, Dana Babette Wolfinger, Jiwon Wu, Darren Lee Yang, Jonathan Kang Yip, Sing Zane, Mihail Gruyanu. Samuel Sung Chan Shing. For the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Celia Tess Doyle. Han Ting Jeffrey Wong. Julian Henry Bellini. Bethany Grace Kemp. Mirza Corman. Karina Lizette Lopez Zamora, Trisha Saroj Pakala, Jasenia Odalis Salazar, Shantanu Tripathi, Jeffrey H. Wang. For the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Abdul Rahman K. Abdullah. Mehul Agarwal, Curtis Sunhu An, Kerry Onyakachi Alamesia, Chiamaka Precious Anamariba, Braden Kai Archer, Samer Aslan, 
Samuel Kwame Atifa, Elizabeth Deborah Ovzine, Lauren Jin Back, Lydia Bathsheba Burhe, Vasant Bardwaj, Rishi Brada Biswas, Elizabeth Baroda, Nicholas Carl Bowen, Alec J. Caswell, Mihir Chakravarti, Joey Er Chan, Jackie Moonan Chen, Ricky Yu Chung Chung, Epiphany Angela Barnachea Chua, Shelby Pearl Co, Mason Samuel Cole, Wayna Day, Nathan Christopher Daly. Derek James Dang. John Ming Han Leo. Jose Claudio Delgado. Modeline Rosenda Deuce. Connor Devlin. Lauren Christine Diaz. Louis Edward Di Bernardo. Anna Osorno Fahey, Jerome Augustin Francis, Sydney Anna Friedel, Kylie A. Furukawa, Shaena Marie Zainab Gabala, Ray Ja Gu, Daniel Roger Gindi, Ian Han. Jai Hu, Mark Hulu, Kai Hua Ho, Colin Michael Hughes, Tony Siung Woo Jung, Victor E. Key. Bo Mi Kim, Ui Kwang Kim, Ji Hoon Kim, Jae Jun Lee, Melody Lee, Irina Bell Lian, Kyung Jin Lim, Samuel Lipschitz. Matthew Liu, Su Chen Liu, Nolan Scott Lombardo, Na Lam V. Lloyd, Erica Andrea Lopez Hans, Damiano Marsili, Anika Misra, Hussein Fuad. Mahmoud Mohammed, Abi Monani, Marcella Morales, Sean Michael Murray, Nader Fadi Najjar, Joshua Alexander Naka, Justin Dunho Nam, Neha Lakshmi Nandiwada. Simon N. Narang, Joy Newberger, Ian Raman Yopane, Fernando Arturo Nova, Emilia Natalia Ochoa, Koki Lee Parker, Jose Hugo Pineda. Alan Raposo, Alejandro Jose Rodriguez Monge, Caden Ramo Rosenblatt, 
Julia Taylor Ross, Brian Rue, Runoski Luke Saito, Johnny Tyler Saldana, Alexis Kokiri Senehisa, Ege Sayat Hanalu, Xianggu Shen, Tyler Jin Wu Shin, Ye Wan Shin, Tadush Octavian Sikorsky, Maya Unique South, Brandon Zane Stride, <laughs> Mosiak Andrew So. John Chungan, Sidney Clark Thibel, Mark Tiavisis, Alexander Vargas, Kevin Velasquez, Shreya Wadwa, Connor Thomas Wall, Zihang Wong. Daniel Kevin Weber, Alexander Chijia Wei, An T. Tran, Christopher Frederick Wilhelm, Kyle Shannon Wu, Jin Yuan Wu, Everett L. Shu, Hei Yuan Shu, Daniel Ji Wu Yim, Abdullah Yusuf, Austin Yi Yu, China Chang Yu, Alan Zhang, Jing Yu Zhang, Robert Zhang, Justin D. Zhao, Wei Zi Zhao. Audrey Zhang, Jeffrey G. Joe, for the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Abdullah Al Armuti, Shivani Ally, Daniel Juno Chong, David Chuang, Preston Donald Gonzalez. Lorenzo Gregori, Yuan Jin He, Marissa Faith Shu, Yared Tarkagan Kokeb, Jameson R. LaJoy, Yi Yang Li, Andres Perez Dovo, Gabrielle Lauren Pung, Mary Shin, Hyun Sa, Tommaso Tamanini, Jin Yuan Wang, Jack Worrell, Hui Lin Xu, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Mechanics, Sarah Party. For the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Engineering, Julia Serena Cho, Ashley Choi, Maricela Eunice Gomez, Elmer Hernandez, Adriana Beatriz Pena, Kevin William Summer, Marissa Lauren Thomas. Dorothy Joyner Thompson. For the Bachelor of Science in Materials Science and Engineering. Juan Diego Carrizo. Christina Grace DeYoung. Elizabeth Joy Hedrick. Ethan Jungmo Ha. Zi Ning Hua. 
Jenny Fong. Omar Anwar Khan. Nathan Abbott Malone. Elaine Akia Nagahara. William Huachuan Rong. Alexander Richard Eckler. For the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Jack Maurice Anderson. Katie Joanne Baumhoff. Kathy Tao. Justin Michael Carter. Daniel Thomas Comer. David Benjamin DeSure. Tessa Joy Erickson. Roberto Carlos Flores. Victor Hugo Galindo. Eric Guo. Jacob Tyler Hill. Helen Hu. Yen Sabro Kanashiro. Alexander Karam Schiltz. Sasha Kadeko. Bridget Hyunju Kim. Aditi Kishore. Chase Mackenzie May Lar. Evan Lotterette Gez. Isaac Young Bay Lee. Justin Hanvin Lee. Melody Lay. Baileon Lin. Lu Jia Lu. Gavin James McKay. Ariadne Sivan Miller. Marcus William Montesano. Herson Ariel Morales Hernandez. Kelsey Aaron Neff. Lance Phillips. Catherine Mirandu Priu. Ryan Francis Retino. Fei Hao Sun. John Q. Wu. Xiao Yu. Zi Chung Rao. Jin Xiang Wang. For the Bachelor of Arts in Applied Mathematics and Statistics. Olufemi Olutobi Agabalogan. Zemin Kong. Maximilian Aaron Messiah. Yi Fei Sun. For the Bachelor of Arts in Computer Science. Emma Jane Cummings. Vincent Providence. James Song Wong. Morgan A. Wheeler. For the Bachelor of Arts in General Engineering. Kiana Nadi Solomon. Thank you. So in our enthusiasm to have uh, people on stage, we failed to present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Dance, and Bachelor of Science, even though they did uh, cross the stage. Uh, in addition, uh, we uh, failed to present the master's degrees, graduate certificate, graduate performance diplomas, and certificate advanced graduate study candidates for the conferral of their degree. So it is my privilege to present all of these candidates on behalf of the deans of the respective schools. Good heavens, Dan. Yes. Um, thank you. And uh, uh, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Johns Hopkins University, I confer upon each and every one of you and candidates unable to be presented all the aforementioned degrees <laughs> that the interim provost has referred to, together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. All right. So now, can we, Dean Chris Chalenza, 
will present the bachelor candidates from the Zanvo Krieger School of Arts and Sciences. President Daniels, the class of arts and sciences graduates sitting before you is truly exceptional. Much of their undergraduate experience was spent in the midst of a global pandemic, but in true Hopkins spirit, they met the challenge head on, and I am so proud of them. During their time at Johns Hopkins, they've grown as scientists and scholars. The hours they've spent in libraries and museums, Laboratories and rare book rooms in the field and in the classroom have led them to become impeccable researchers. Their intellectual pursuits are rich and diverse, as you'd expect from dedicated arts and science majors. They're driven to ask big questions and solve big problems. They've considered climate change solutions and studied the causes of racial inequity, explored the origins of the universe and found new meanings in ancient texts. Members of this class are patient yet driven, curious yet methodical detail-oriented yet attentive to the big picture. They're ready to go out and make the world a better place, just as they have done here in our community. Again, I couldn't be prouder of them. And so, President Daniels, I am pleased to present to you candidates who have been certified by the faculty of the Zanville Krieger School of Arts and Sciences for their degrees of Bachelor of Science in an Arts or Science Discipline and Bachelor of Arts in an Arts or Science Discipline. Thank you, Dean Chalenza. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Johns Hopkins University, I confer upon each and every one of you and candidates unable to be present the degrees of Bachelor of Science and an Arts and Science Discipline and Bachelor of Arts and an Arts or Science Discipline from the Zanville Krieger School of Arts and Sciences for which you have been certified by the faculty together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, warmest, warmest congratulations. And now we'd ask the recipients of the degrees just conferred to please come forward when your name is called. Names will also be called by degree and then also by major. For the Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Lucy Chen, Marcos Hernandez Canchola, Justine E. Prince, Aman Ahmed Siddiqui. For the Bachelor of Arts in Behavioral Biology, Mashiat Ahmed, Amira A. Aziz Bello. Jessica Lauren Dewar, Emily Lascalzo, Catherine Ann Lundberg, Lauren Nicole Maton, Kara Ann Milliken, Christian Hyunte Park, G1 Sophia Park, Cecilia Ruby Suji Ramirez, for the Bachelor of Arts in Biology, Ariel Nehemiah Aiken, Adriana Maria Alonso Lisea, Tirth Nundan Bakta, Patim Lo Ja, Julia Ann Justi Kizik, Daniela Gonzalez, Annabel McKenzie Headley. Bailey C. Herrera, Anthony R. Hill, Cade Brooks Knudsen, Xin Yi Lu, Timothy Raphael Neal, Sayudi K. Ogi, Katie M. Pedro, Devin Anthony Sanders, Nicholas Dominic Shelsey. Hilary Yin. For the Bachelor of Arts in Biophysics, Abdullah Musa Ali, Rada Al Hatib, 
Christopher John Anchin, Samantha L. Camp, Matthew Tay Chang, Yi Lin Chen, Michelle Youngrin Cho, Noah Benjamin George, Wesley Simon Glim, Simon Kahan, Divya Kranti, Joseph Ian Lin, Nicole Loza, John Thomas Magardino, Romina Fernanda Rojas, Lakshay Su, Leah Ruth Yang, for the Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry, Aliyah Jesse Marie Barosi, Pilar Bakar Varela, Atharva Makund Bhagwat, Samuel James Dolly, Rosales Joey Duverna, Sarah Isabella Giron, Aaron Harris, Nicholas D. Henriquez, Emily Ann Howie, Ariana Yvette Johnson, Francisco Lozano, Nina Lomeni Luli, Fong Ming Nguyen, Ashma Pendya, Tan Hai Fan, Hannah S. Pugh, Zoe Elizabeth Riadi Brown, Brahin Rashawn Richardson, Massimiliano Isidoro Scapani, Mark Dominic Testa, Sienna Michelle Urbanski, Yuang Wang, Isha Yado, Michael J. Yu, Rihanna Zong, for the Bachelor of Arts in Classics, Hamza Qureshi, Natalie Ann Thornton, for the Bachelor of Arts in Cognitive Science, Ayasat Ajike Adegbinden, Omar Ali, Hiba Asfari, William James Blair, Raven Nicole Foster, Jeannie Wei Fong, Juan Sebastian Giraldo, Ted S. Lee, Chu Yan Le, Yi Jia Liu, Ava Marty Powell, Andrew James Shibuya, Leora Daphna Shua, Annie McManus Smith, Emma Hutton Summers, Owen Nathan Tanzer, Maya Thomas, Justin Brandon Valdoria, Dan Min Liu, Justin Charles Winkler, Taylor Lene Young, for the Bachelor of Arts in Earth and Planetary Sciences, Alyssa Lauren Lux, Rachel Tenley Miller, for the Bachelor of Arts in East Asian Studies, So Jung Lee, for the Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Alexander Wade Anderson, Nicholas Alexander Barrera, Caroline Graham Bates, Marwan Bayumi, Jonah Meyer Bennett, Joseph Patrick Brennan, Reed Robertson Brotman, Jacob Daniel Brunner, 
Arthur Benedict Collins, Aaron Elizabeth Converse, Matthew Irwin Cooper, Carolina Dubovskaya, Julius Lloyd Dunn, Caitlin Duong, Matthew Alexander Evans, Grant Michael Gibbs, Connor Matthew Gibson, Edward Swanson Glassmeyer, Ziamara Jacqueline Gonzalez, Layla Sylvia Trogio Hamilton, Sarah M. Herr, Neil Kanth Huluman. Young Wu Jung, Mia Zerline Katz, Alexander Leo Kernagis, Dong Hyun Kim, William Roy Kreitzer, Lance George Large, Roxana Leal Toledo, Allison Lee, Angela Lee. Michael Joseph Linguadoka, Catherine Lowe, Alana Francesca Mogollon Arabia, Theodore Brown Murren, Matthew John Naruski, Matthew J. Park, Parker Richard Red, Hyung Woo Ro, Spencer Chase Ryan, Gurpreet Samra, Noah Jacob Sarmon, Jane Mallory Sinta, Alexis Oksana Swayze, Bowden Sulik. Mu Ching Tong, Nak Bao Chun, Jason Cho, Colin Arthur Vallis, William Lucas Vestberg, Dakota Grace Walker, Xin Wu Wang. Isaiah Andrew Winokur, Daniel Seamus Wolf, Rose Amelia Wolkheim, John Roberts Woods, Andrea Lily Zhang, Yi Chen Zhao, Jennifer D. Swirling. For the Bachelor of Arts in English. Mia Hatsuki, Noah Elisheva, Michaela Weinberg, for the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Studies, Oscar Wayne Goodell, Eugene Lee, Alexander Joseph Knoll, Lauren Scout Oliver, Isabel Sumardi. For the Bachelor of Arts in Film and Media Studies, Christian James Reedy, Lorraine Karen Rinaldi, Kyle Velez. For the Bachelor of Arts in History, Hanan Schultz Abdelati, Hayden Shannon Fox, Andrea Isabel Guillen. Holly Bree Nelson, Matthew William Palmer, Benjamin Arya Schlesinger, Kana Marie Scott, for the Bachelor of Arts in History of Art, Marina Genevieve Bienname,
Daniel Ong. Claudia Zong. For the Bachelor of Arts in History of Science, Medicine, and Technology. Jun Bo Wu. For the Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. Hadia Ahmed. Ignacio Roberto Baerga. Cameron May Baird. Madison Ellen Bates. Caitlin Ann Betts. Leslie Nicole Calvin. Ritamber Kumar Chakraborty. Bailey Jean Cheatham. Nina Simone Davis. John Paulo De Felice. Brandon Michael Dillo. Chin Yang Du. Nathan Milo Felmus. Christopher Raymond Fries. Maria Camila Garcia. Michael Gerard Hallahan. Da Zing Huang. Alexandra Elizabeth Aramio. Bonnie Jin. Jung Min Kim. Livia Kirik. Jasmine Lee. Ava Levine. Joaquin Alonzo Livia Poma. Lydia Long. Zhu Xiang Ma. Alvin Zifeng Mack. Greta Ann Maris. Grace Natalie McGonagall. Andres Mariano Mejia. William Harrison Messick. Christian Jorg Meyer. Margaret Magdalena Aller Pereira. Chris Yunsu Park. So Own Park. Krutika Meyer Patel. Raymond Clifford Perez. Alexandra Helene Pinchuk. Talia Olivas Shadrai. Jane Kabar Slaughter. John Robert Strzewski. Sarah Bernadette Sullivan. Daphne Tang. Jillian Ash Thiroff. Michelle Tu. Dominique Eric Vorrier. Castalia Isabella Vidauri. Bruna Vieira. Yi Wu. Jun Han Yang. Zi Han Young. Lincoln Alfred Clayton Yider. Wei Zhou. For the Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics. Ian Daniel Foreman. Catherine Fraga. Jonathan Raphael Greco. Armand Jesuja. Nicholas Angelo Lombardi. Udo Chukwu Wamaka Wosu. Sean James Bezos O'Connor. Connor Patrick O'Keefe. Brian Ethan Olivo. Isabel Miriam Thomas. Daniel Molman Wen. Yang Shu. For the Bachelor of Arts in Medicine, Science, and Humanities. Yasmin Aflaki. Rachel Reese Barrows. Louisa Catherine Mary Benetovich. Cora Chibuzor Vera Coker. Hannah Maduri Collins Doijade. Safia Nia Duncan. Isha Gamire. 
Emma Colin Griffin, Harold J. Ibanez, Joyce Jiaxin Kerr, Blaje Langford, Chimez Arim Eric Wogu, Christian Douglas Hing Polisic, Faith Christine Provost, Anthony Alexander Kie, Deanna Joy Rahman, Alexis Tamar Rosenberg, Laura Marie Wadston, Ayub Abdigafar Bordier, for the Bachelor of Arts in Natural Sciences, J.K. Asala, Javon Antonio Campbell, Alec Sebastian Gonzaga, Leticia Jean Baptiste, Kristen Rebecca Joswick, Timothy Francis Marcille, Kaylee M. Morales, Isaiah Elijah Norman, Gabriel Otero Duran. For the Bachelor of Arts in Near Eastern Studies, Kylan Dale McHugh. For the Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Eric Kadai Lee. Mahalia Marie Munalem. Annalisa Christina O'Neill. Michelle Gabriella Schipolitti. Nat H. Tran. For the Bachelor of Arts in Physics, Luis Miguel Madura. For the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Chelsea Eva Aqua. Jacob Mark Angeles. Ariana Jolene Booker. John Michael Burnett. And Stephanie Yamalet Kaje. Michaela Ann Barnachea Chua. Devin M. Green. Jiwon Han. Sarah Elizabeth Jenny. John Patrick McRae. Elizabeth Xiao, Shanti K. Ramakrishna, Alexandra Aaron Robinson, Jack Bertram Ruddy, Hesu Song, Taehun Sun, Scott Jacob Steinmetz, Robob Verizzi, for the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Claire Hay Young on Fausto Alvarez, Kenan Marie Beck, Andrew John Bendo, Sydney A. Cantrell, Carla Cardoso Garcia, Kevin Andre Centeno, Alexandria Hay Wan Chang, Catalina Marie De Leon. Haima Ray DeVries, Benjamin Alexander Du, Benjamin Joseph Izana, Trinidad Maria Fleming, Evan Miller, Samuel A. Frank, Daniela Garcia Jimenez, Sian Regina Gates, Kaylee Louise Gilbreth, Garrett Damian Griffith, Brianna Margaret Groach, Brett Jeffrey Hanzer, Catherine Johanna Hernandez, Nicholas Adam Hill, Kathy Hong, Ruby Hong, Christina Marie Huckulat, Nathan Kyung Joon Huang. John Daniel Krill, Sarah Sung Hyun Lee, Pamela Lee, Rocio Melissa Mayorga, Anna Maria Mears, Paulina Medina, Ricardo Seferino Medina, Haley Lacina Moore. 
Brittany Page Murray, Lily Elizabeth Nolan, Noma Brianna Wazo, Margaret Rose Olea, Jamachi Jasmine Opara, Elizabeth Grace Pearson, Julian Phelps, Mahesh Toby Pichayan, Estelle Richardson, Jacqueline R. Rittenhouse, Rodrigo Rivero Tacarante, Alyssa Michelle Saunders, Morgan Patricia Seward, Shira Gabrielle Chancellor, Evelyn Cheng Xiang, Madeline Ann Sukdeo, Adolwit Tesfai Tashon. John Wiggins, Rachel Rong N. Shu, Grace Yu, Julia Rose Zambo, Thomason Ann Ayomipo Long, for the Bachelor of Arts in Public Health Studies, Sadie Kim Abood, Abigail Fasiha Edmase. Natalie Joyce Ackberry, Jacob Alexander Alsop, Noor M. Al Saloum, Helene C. Apollon, Awura Asamoa Mensa, Molly Nicole Atencia, Adarin Sola Adeolua Badawa, Alicia Cecilia Barbanel Bay. Maeve Tiffany Barker. McLean Irene Berry Quick. Emily Miyoko Berg. Emma Adriana Bocanegra. Giselle Dior Ophelia Borelli. Connor Joseph Caputo, Tristan Walker Caruth, Ian Magno Cataluna, Sacha Chakaharthi, Karen Sawada Chan, Veda Chanda, Elizabeth L. Chen, Alexis B. Choi. Margaret Ellen Cook. Sienna Isabel DeFazio. Jordanos Tekeline Degafa. Leon Dang. Niharika Seal Desi Raju. Shalika Devaretti. Melis Dick. Jeffrey Wong Ding. Haley Lemoyne Egan, Loa Nagi El Timsa, Mayron Ashetu, Tamran Faraz Eslami, Danny Eater, Eleanor Grace Franklin, Isla T. Frost, Andrea Marie Garrido. Abigail Rose Gerties, Maya Levine Ghosh, Gabriella Alexandra Gonzalez, Umnia H. Hassan, Kevin Ho, Jia Ying Wendy Huang, Christina Hung, Tasfia Hussein. Christina Mee Huynh, Catherine Marie Daly Jackson, Jessica Jung, Benjamin Anders Jewell, Ambika Kandasami, Da Young Kong, William Thomas Cow, Bong Kim, 
Sarah Treme, Henry Maurice Larm Larway, Lillian Nock Lay, Che Young Lee, Jonathan S. Lee, Cindy Y. Lee, Jessica Lee, Michelle Kwa Limpa, Tristan Lin. Ahmed bin Manzoor. Madison in K. Chukwunye McPherson. Pamina Mejia. Shafkat Miraj. Alexandra Marie Miller. Jacob Shang-Chi Milton. Riley Kavanaugh Mitchell. Paloma Roy Mitra. Grace N. Mohandas. Varun Teja Maineni. Bianca Jelen Nakar. Caitlin McGuire Nalda. Ruben Patrick Hunteria Nelson. Lucy Renee Nielsen. Peter Lewis Novello. Aluchi Chimanya Obona. Chenenya Onye Kachuku Okolo. Abina Abaraku Otuadum. Andrew Yumin Pak. Gopi Hiran Patel. Shivni Hiran Patel. Eliza Page Pence. Ritika Porbe. Chanel Darcy Quinn. Maisoon Tarek Rashid. Molly Elizabeth Reich. Natalie Alondra Rivas. Anthony Rodriguez. Paloma Renee Ryan. Gina Ryu. Jorge Oscar Santana. Laís Ramirez Santoro. Tristan Joshua Sarmiento. Daniela J. Schreider. Sonia D. Shaw. Jocelyn Christina Shan. Sungun Shin. Mackenzie Joe Simon Collins. Bianca Simone Skelton. Cheyon Sun. Janie Song. Carly Amanda Steinloff. Faith Lorraine Streeter. Michelle Sung. Fiona Gail Sweeney. Yasin Kane Lay C. Furenzi Tang. Helen Nicole Taylor. Meron Megra Teklu. Jeremy Shahinian Telezing. Tegan N. Tumre. Paris Andrea Trujillo. Kareem Hamuda. Alan Van Trung. Nicole N. Uchea. Isabel Lauren Veloso. Ingrid Marcella Villarreal. Kwe Din Min Vo. Samantha Nicole Walsh. Jia Rei Wong. Yu Wen Wong. Callie Wilson. Caroline Winter. Esther Wu. Pei Chun Wu. Mu Ye Young. Zhu Chen Ren. Fatiha Zanath. Han Zhang. Melody Yuhan Zhang. Rachel Zhang. Henry Heng Yi Zhao. For the Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Lubna Azmi. Sigrid Anavira Edson. Leela Irene Nair Jibo. Ian William Cramp. Kevin Gregory LaMonica.
Adriana Vanessa Ordunia, Jayla Lynn Scott, Anna Yulam Shin, Zihi Zhu, Eliza Bright Zimmerman. For the Bachelor of Arts in Writing Seminars, Genesis Air, Hannah Francis Alkausi, Zachary Charles Allen, David Young Jin Beck, Rebecca Ann Bearer, Ruth Ming Chung, Casey Lee Cohen, Renee Paris Flory, Su Xian Huang, Habiba Abemana Matumla, Paige Palumbo Maltzby, Madeline Rose Murphy, Eunice Gayung Park, Tu Nat Pham, Anna C. Scott, Dylan Tran, Owen Matthew Welsh, Ruth Ellen Wood, Ivy Y. Schwinn. For the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Nicole Sin Ming Chu, Emerson Lyanne Davis, Emily Huang Javadon, Vicky Wei Lee, Emmett David Novick, Jordan A. Prince, Chi Chien Shi. For the Bachelor of Science in Molecular and Cellular Biology, Salma Gamal Abdel Azim, Charles Amakeya Ajiman, Michael Zal Amadi, Taha Swedat Ahmedna, Enam Ameo Akas Raku, Hanan Akbari, Mohammed Al Gawi, Nicole S. Aloyi, Jesus Daniel Alonzo, Eamon Zera Alta, Joseph Israel Alvarez, Saran Amin, Julia Ahn, Sophia Angel, Rodolfo Andres Avila IV, Rebecca Berhane, Joanna Yang B, Jacqueline Nicole Bachkova, Kirti Boyapati, Roland Jeffrey Kwabena Brown, Emily Anna Cahill, Fidel Mulong Kai, Annie Tsao, Jenny Jiayi Kao, Austin Chase Carmichael, Mark Anthony Cassidy IV, Alex Andrew Cepeda, Abigail Sung Ah Cha, Gurjot Kaur Chan, Connie Chang Chien, Jonathan Chen, Xavier Tiberius Chang, Josephine Ada Chi, Ian Shin Chu, Haruna Chojasuran, Amber Chow, Julianne Allen Cornejo, Cecilia A. Cortez, Colt W. Crane, Carson Jack Curra. Rita Dotwani, Sophie Marie de Betancourt, Tara Tonian Desporte, Scott John Du, Sarah Ann Wales Duck, Aiden John Dunphy, Benjamin Obioha Eke, Fatima Dohia El Zamzami, Rodrigo Salgado Estevez, Gabriela Gianna Iwaku, Selena Y. Fay, Magdalene Ruth Ford, Angie Valentina Gaitan, Alejandro Jose Garcia, Anthony Joseph Garcia, Marina Assad Gurgis, Maret Assad Gurgis, Evan Blaine Griffin, 
Alejandro Jose Guerrero, Yen Ray Gua, Priyanka Reddy Hanumagari, Alma Oliva Hausger, Rina Nicole Helt, Ariana Herrera Moret, Zoe Catherine Hornberger, Grace Elizabeth Howard, E. Han Huang, Yun Jiang Huang, Ayaka Inoki, Rosie Jang, Matthew Prince Jenkins, Jordan Jiao, Tae Gyung Kakazu, Vaishnavi Karanam, Michael G. Kitcher III, Sarah Meredith Kine. Matthew Nelson Kleiman, Daria Kurganova, Alista Wen Chi Lee, Esther J. Lee, Subin Lee, Yu Kang Lee, Allison B. Lilly, Yang So Lim, Cheryl Lin, Selena Sinian Liu, Peter Leo, Darren Zen Hao Lu, Alice Shengping Mao, Ankit Parimala Maramanda, Akriti Mather, Ellie Rose Matum, Alexandra Hazel McDonald, Madison Grace McFarland, Emma Claire Marketegi Luki. Verena Romani Metri, Cecilia Elizabeth Miller, Amanda Michelle Mitchell, Emma Porter Morin, Meta Mulazamoglu, Rhea R. Nuggin, Divya Reggie Nair, Alexander Suwon Nguyen, Benjamin Min Huan Nguyen, Nina Nguyen, Anne-Marie Claire Nolan, Ogechi Ma Wankwala, Alicia Anella Olivas, Ryan Michael Onetsevich, Snigda Panda, Sadhana Margatham Pani, Nanika Pradeep Kumar Pensari, Christopher David Pantelis, Dixita A. Patel, Catherine Kelly Perez, Philip Nemo Perez, Shajay Jade Ashley Pinnock, Avinav Piplani, Madison Kim Pomeroy, Tatiana E. Prasad, Yush Prasher, Fabian Manuel Ramirez, Morgan Olivia Ron, Christina Rinaldi, Rosa Guadalupe Rodriguez Uloa Yanez Valdez, Stephen Joseph Rua, Stephanie Nicole Ruiz Torres, Reina Marie Saldana, Arushi Samal. Leah Rachel Sanchez Ramirez, Conrad Gareth Say, Claudia May Sesso, Rohan Herrer, Jessica Margaret Schaefer, Rydia J. Shaw, Ashley Ming Jun Shim, Bohun Shim, Christina Jean Sia. Rohit Sibananthan, Shani Snow, Annabelle Chen Song, Ian M. Spears, Aaliyah Christina Spruel, Jake Sun, Akash Suresh Kumar, Jonathan Susilo, David Tan, Cami Tang, Darren Tundra Oven, 
Lauren Elizabeth Torado. Gabriel Philip Tobin Jett. Isabel Vanessa Trenchev. Alice Elizabeth Turnham. Chelsea Wando Udaji. Luca Mateo Valdivia. Isabella Marie Vegas. Alekia Vagentla. Isabella Velarde. Michael Christian Wakeman. Ryan Ahn Walk. Kevin Jiayi Wong. Xing Yao Wong. Justin Wei. Fevin Hailu Welda. Carter John Williams. Anna Reagan Willis. Lillian Charlotte Wilson. Tristan Pak Yu Wong. Ze Pei Xie. Ashley Samantha Zelaya. Xiao Ling Zhang. Timothy Zhang. Bingying Zhao. Emily Lu Zhou. Alyssa Dawn Zimmerman. For the Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Hania Afshar. Sebastian Dario Alatore, Emmanuel L. and Gomez, Rishi Bachani, Akshita Balaji, Chris William Bedell, Ali McCarthy Best, Devin Joaquim Bonaire, Kareem Abdul Chambers, Chintam Sai Chandan Reddy, Kristen Chow, Herbert Ridong Chen, Sean Chen, Madeline Elizabeth Cheshire, Young Jin Choi, Zishan Chunawala, Juliana Marina Condolio, Juliana Jiahui Tue, Amy D. Delori, Dong Kwok Ding. Abane Devaraconda, Naomi Kathleen Donovan, Asha Chandra Duhan, Srinivas Idara, Ala Mohammed Fadlala, Crystal Venezia Favorito, Olivia Nicole Fox, Amara Ruth Gammon, Martina Jazari. Garrett Bryce Golden, Natalia Gonzalez, Ryuichi Maxwell Haneda, Annie Ho, Sing Emily Shang, Mahin Ibrahimi, Divya Inaganti. Yanis Driss Jawi, Xian Yi Jia, Jin Su Zhang, Jason Jing, Sayaka Josephine Kenmoji, Erica Rose Kent, Samuel Chun Yui Ko, Gong Hyun Kim, Meha Kumar. Swati Kumar, Kristen Lay, Angel Lee, Samantha Angelina Lee, Kennedy Lauren Leonard, Michael Hong Liu, Sophie Wei Hye Liu, Josh and Deep Singh Lobana, Justin Long Liu. Vivia Wei Zhen Long, Julia Ma, Yun Song Mao, Samuel Dulin Martin, Leah Kate McDonough, 
Meredith Jean Mehta, Sachin Nalin Mehta, Amy Kamlesh Mistry, Mazin Kazem Mohammed, Omar Stefano Montalvo, Johnson Moran, Juliana Matoa, Priyanka Ambakar Nadkarni, Tanvi Narvakar, Sean William Odoy, Sebastian Walker Marin, Dylan Travis Odell, Oluwatobi Angel Odukoya, Hyung Jong O, oh. Crystal E. OG, Chad N. Oliver, Catherine Milner Overby, Vinay Jatin Parit, Su Yoon Park, Druva K. Patel, Megan Ann Pedicini, Rohan Prakash, Manasi Prashant, Kristen Cecilia Ralston, Elisa Victoria Rodriguez. Jorge Pedro Rodriguez, Liliana Marie Rodriguez, Tumba Loic Sangua, Ariana Syed Mackey, Kathy Mulan Shi, Cecilia Schwai, Vanessa Sophia Silva, Ravneet Kaur Singh, Brianna L. Soldatelli, Indira Lee Somerville, Hai Chun Sun, Mariano Natil Thomas, Connie K. Tran, Vesna Nak Tran, Shubha Verma, Balaji Gundu Vijaya Kumar, Paige Madison Vinch, Samuel Shia, Annie Yang, Christian S. Yoon, Bohan Zhang, Ella Jiayi Zhang. For the Bachelor of Science in Physics, Lucy Afi Afko, Justin Randall Camargo, Sean David Cameron, Courtney Kate Carrera, Nicholas Alberto Gutierrez, Catherine Alex Weingartner Haas. Zi Wei Hu. Muncha Kapoor. Miranda Alicia Lorenzo. Jackson Daniel North. Alejandro Ross. Kyle Edward Schneider. Luke Xavier Strong. David Joseph Yunovsky. Jo Joseph Yunovsky, wait! David, I told you they would wait, and they did. Let's give everyone, all our grudges, a great round of applause. We're almost, almost at the end of these commencement exercises. We've applauded our graduates and their families and our honorary degree recipients. But I want to make sure that we acknowledge the peerless contributions of one more group without whom we would not be here today, our faculty. Under the guidance of these teachers and mentors, our students have thrived, turning out more, more than you could ever imagine, their best work. Um, and I would ask at this moment, our faculty who are here with us today, to please stand so we can acknowledge you. To our faculty.
I also, I also want to thank our deans, administrators, and staff, without whom these proud graduates would not have arrived at this moment. And of course, I want to recognize everyone, everyone, our staff and volunteers, who made this day absolutely perfect and possible for all. So, to our graduates from across the divisions of our great university, while this moment marks the end of your official tenure at Johns Hopkins, as Johns Hopkins students, it also signals the start of a new kind of learning, discovery, and commitment to our communities in Baltimore and around the world. Once again, and for me the final time, congratulations to the great, great class of 2023. And good luck. It's been a real privilege. And now I turn to Chief Marshal Ganji and Vice Provost Hernandez to conclude these most wonderful proceedings. To you both. Congratulations, everyone. It's a great day to be a Jay. Graduates, before Chief Marshal Ganji takes the mic, let's get ready to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. I want to ask all the graduates to grab the parcel that's under your seats. So now you're going to hold the white loop in your hand with the paper facing up. Carefully tear a hole in the paper and get ready to throw it in the air to celebrate when the gavel bangs. All right. Thank you all uh, for joining us today. May I ask the graduates to please remain in place until the platform party has left the field. On behalf of the entire Johns Hopkins community, it is my honor to again extend congratulations to all of our graduates, their families, and friends. The ceremony is now adjourned. Congratulations.